Hello, my name is Micah, and in this video, I'll be starting a new journal, which also happens to be my first ever Hobonichi notebook. So everything's very exciting. Uh, so far, I've only put one little cat friend in the pockets of the cover. Um, but in this video, I'll be doing three things to get comfortable in my new journal. First, I'll be decorating the cover. Then I'll create a colorful currently spread. And at the end, I'll be creating a type of spread that I've never created before. And it might be my favorite way to start a journal yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, I hope that you find some new ideas in this video on how to get started in your new journal. And overall, enjoy this crafty time with me. So first up, I'll decorate the cover. I think decorating the cover is a fantastic way to make a notebook feel like your own. I like to think of it as setting the mood for the inside pages. After all, you'll be looking at the cover every time you pull it out uh, to start journaling. So I like to include colors and imagery that just yeah, put me in the mood to journal. I'm pulling out a couple pattern pieces of paper here that I think would go along with the pattern that I've already glued down. Uh, I've noticed that I often forget about my pattern papers because they're stored in a big bin in a closet. So out of sight, out of mind. So now I select a few pieces every now and then and keep them in a pouch that's easy to access. Uh, some of these are cut from flow magazines and some are uh, from collage papers by the talented Jen from Jenny May June. And it wouldn't be a cover of mine if I didn't include a cute animal. So I'm sticking down this bear that I recently illustrated. And I think that that just goes along nicely with those uh, patterns. I think we're not done yet. I want to include some flowers from this Hours Studio PET tape. Now these PET tapes are not cheap, but look how many different and beautiful designs you get in a single repeat. And the roll is really thick. Um, while looking through the designs, this house with the trees immediately stuck out to me. So we're going to cut it out and stick it on. Um, I love stationery that's either translucent or transparent. It can be really helpful in unifying your collages because it sort of melts multiple layers together. I'm also going to include another cute flower. I think something is missing in that top right corner over there um, to help balance everything out. And I'm going to decide on a little yellow one as it picks up the yellow from the roof. And so, yeah, I think that creates a nice, creates a nice balance. This label, by the way, the Welcome to My World is part of next month's Cat Collage Club printables, by the way. If you want to find out more about that, I'll have a link in the description. Okay, the cover is done for now, but I also want to get started on the inside. We'll skip the first single page for now, and we're going to come back to it in a little bit because I've something very special planned for this first page. Um, so we're going to focus on the first double page spread now. And on this page, I want to do a currently loving spread featuring color palettes and imagery that's currently making my heart happy. I printed that lettering piece on tracing paper, by the way, and I love the look and texture of it. Now this is a vintage illustration that I adore that I found on Pinterest. I unfortunately couldn't find who the illustrator is, but I've been recently obsessed with illustrations that combine colorful shapes with line details. I think a currently loving spread is a great way to get started in a journal. Um, filling a page with all the things you love right now is bound to make you happy. And a happy beginning to a journal will motivate you to keep uh, going in it and keep picking it up again and again and journaling in it. And I just think it's great. And it's just fun to have all the things you love right now 
on a single page. While creating your currently spread, you might even notice uh, similarities in the things you feel drawn to, like certain colors, for example. Uh, so that can be really insightful. And I also think a currently loving spread is a great snapshot or time capsule of who you are as a person right now. Uh, it'll be so fun to look back on this in two, five, or ten years and see what things uh, I still like and what tastes uh, have changed. Uh, those watercolor swatches are a color palette that I'm in love with at the moment. Um, if you're in interested in the exact brands and color names, let me know in the comments. Obviously, you can also include things like books and TV shows you're into right now. I've been rereading my Moomin books, written and illustrated by the incredible Tova Janssen. You know, one of my favorite characters is Snufkin, who is a wise nomad, and I want to copy this drawing of him. I could have printed it out, but I like spending the extra time it takes to copy it by hand, as it allows me to just appreciate Tova's pen and ink skills even more. I roughly sketch in Snufkin's proportion with my trusty Blackwing pencil, and then I lighten the pencil lines with my kneaded eraser and do the final line drawing with my Namiki Falcon fountain pen. I, I bought this pen while I was in college, and it's still one of my favorite tools to draw with. It has a flex nib, which means you can get all kinds of different line uh, widths with it, and I don't know, it's just smooth and it just feels nice. I just realized that I think this is the drawing Traveler's Company actually used for their limited edition notebook cover that was a Moomin collaboration and was sadly only available in Japan. Uh, Hobonichi also did a Moomin collaboration this year and had a Moomin Weeks cover, which was also, unfortunately, only available in Japan. So I have to move to Japan, apparently, <laughs> as a Moomin fan. I felt like drawing some more, so I bust out my tumble markers to draw some trees and a house, much inspired by the vintage illustrations I referenced earlier. Um, I keep having this... Uh, thought or this dream of owning a house among trees. I find that really inspirational uh, right now. And so I figured I'd, I'd draw that. Uh, these two tumble markers were uh, gifts by my husband for my birthday this year. And he couldn't have picked better colors for me. I think he, he was spot on with his selection there. I think it's turning out really cute. My journaling off camera. Uh, I labeled the pieces in case the visuals by themselves won't make sense to me in the future. But now, now we are going to create a page that I'm really excited about. Um, it's something that I've never created before, uh, a new way to begin a journal, so to speak, or at least new to me. Uh, I am going to write out my intentions for this journal. I have uh, thought about it and have come up with three intentions or three things I want to keep in mind while working in this journal. And I hope that this will guide my journaling and keep me inspired. Because when thinking about the journals that I enjoyed working in the most and that I seem to have gotten the most out of, I think it's the journals where I was clear on their purpose. So I'm not really a daily journaler in the sense that I need an entire page to write down what I did on any particular day. Uh, most of my journaling is about my thoughts and things that I find interesting or thought-provoking or simply beautiful. So when I've tried to combine this 
a classic way of memory keeping with more freeform journaling, I've often found that I don't finish my journals because it's neither this nor that. So I want to try and see what happens when I set clear intentions. Uh, to illustrate each of my three intentions, I will use another PET tape. This one is by Dodo Lulu. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but I love her watercolor illustrations so very much. I think they're absolutely precious and the little figures have so much personality. My first intention is to get to know myself better by paying attention to what I pay attention to. This could mean writing down notes on a book that I'm reading or cutting out beautiful images from a magazine. I just think a journal can offer space to have a conversation with yourself like you would have a conversation with a friend. So what kind of questions would you ask a friend to get to know them better and then journal about that? My second intention is to celebrate the things that bring me joy. This could mean pasting in photos or creating drawings of things and situations that bring me joy. I think that keeping a record about the things that light you up uh, can inform you on how to have more of it in your life. And my third intention for this journal is to improve my artistic sensibilities by allowing myself to play. This is where my journal starts to overlap a little bit with my sketchbooks as I love to draw and illustrate with watercolors in both of them. But in my journals, I also get to play with pattern papers and art created by other people. So while my sketchbooks are often about honing my professional skills as an illustrator, my journals are about indulging in visuals that I just find appealing. So it's a, just another creative outlet. And there we have it, my first pages in my new Hobonichi journal. And I must say that these make me very excited to continue working in this little notebook. I just feel like it's me <laughs> and the cover is giving me all the feelings that I want for the journal. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you like the idea of starting a journal with setting intentions. And thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Until next time, happy journaling!